Welcome to Real Estate Radio Live, an informative and engaging hour discussing everything you need to know about the world of real estate. Your host, Joe Kuchera, provides you with insight and guidance on how to buy, sell, finance, and invest in real estate. He also offers real estate tax management strategies, new construction advice, home improvement tips, and much, much more. And now, to guide you around the world of real estate, here's your host and Real Estate Radio Live team leader, Joe Kuchera. Welcome in. Good afternoon. This is Joe Kuchera with Real Estate Radio Live. Thank you so much for spending some time with us this afternoon. Just a reminder, we are the only live real estate radio show that broadcasts five days a week, Monday through Friday from 3 to 4. You could tune in and listen to us on the radio at KDOW 1220 AM. If you're not near a radio or you're anywhere else and you have access to the Internet, you could listen to us live online during this time period. And you could do that by going to kdow.biz. You could just click on the button that says Listen Live. You could listen to the entire show on the Internet. Also, we're streaming live on Facebook during our live shows. So thank you, those, for uh, tuning in and participate and uh, interact with us on Facebook. Thank you very much. We'll continue to do that. It's a lot of fun. Lastly, be sure to download the podcast. That's for those that um, unfortunately can't listen to the show this time of the period. So uh gives you the opportunity to listen to the show again anytime you want at your convenience. You could do that by going to iTunes and just typing in Real Estate Radio Live. You could download the podcast that way, or you could go to our website, and that's at reradiolive.com. All right, before I invite my guests in, just a reminder, this is a live show again, so if you have questions for me or our, my guests today, you could reach out and, and you could call us at 1-800-516-1220. That's the toll-free line during the live portion of the show. You could also text your questions in at 408-838-9060. All right, most of you know the show is focused on education and information, and uh, what we work really hard to do is have great guests like we have today, content, information, share with you, the consumer, uh, educate education information to help you make wise decisions in and around your real estate. And that's really our goal and our objective. So with that, let me invite my guests in today. They're on the line. They're calling in. And it is Nicole Fink. She is the sales manager at Century 21 M&M in Fremont. And alongside also in the same office is Brian Rowland. He's a realtor. Welcome in, you guys. How are you doing today? Good. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you, Joe. It's a pleasure to be on. We're doing great. You're welcome. Well, yeah, it's exciting to have you guys on. We've had this on the books for a while, and uh, we're going to be learning more and more about Century 21 M&M and also different offices, locations, and uh, and I can't wait to hear from you guys. So before we get started, maybe if each of you guys could just maybe take a minute and give the listeners a little bit about your background and then uh, your current roles and responsibilities at uh, Century 21 there in the Fremont office. Um, yeah, great. Thank you so much. Um, again, thanks for putting us on the books, and um, You're we're looking we're looking forward to doing this and having some fun. So, um, my name is Nicole Fink, and um, I'm the um, branch sales manager here at Century 21 M&M in Fremont. A uh, little bit about myself. Well, I mean, I've been in the business a long time. I worked for a small mom and pop shop in Pleasanton. Learned everything I could learn um, for the last 16 years. I started in 2000, and then in December of 2016 decided to come on board with Century 21 um, as their uh, sales manager here and just really just came on board to lead an awesome team and learn a little bit more about myself in leadership. Um, I've been doing, I've done a lot of project management and um, some financial planning and working with some investor portfolios. So I've done quite a bit along the gambit of um, real estate, however, uh, leading a, a team is really my passion, so coming into this was really exciting for me, and obviously um, watching my team grow and, and uh, being a part of that is, is, is pretty cool. So I got one of, my, one of my top guys here with me to support me today, and um, we're here to support each other, uh, to you know just, just, just kind of handhold each other and really um, put our name out there and, and say hello to the world. Very good. Well, thanks, Nicole. All right, Brian, Thank you. tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, sure. Thanks, Joe. Uh, so I am a broker associate here with Century 21 M&M. Uh, I've been in the business uh, uh, six years, going on seven. And uh, my 
my whole game is to really you know enlarge my family in terms of my clientele uh, my, they my mm -hmm. clients absolutely become my family and i uh they learn that i care very much and very deeply about them uh, so uh, it's been a very successful couple of years with Century 21 m and M. I've been here since they started in the Fremont office, which was the summer of 2013, and uh, looking forward to uh, helping the office grow, uh, helping myself grow, and more particularly helping as many clients uh, solve their real estate uh, questions and predicaments uh, to the best of my abilities. Very good. All right, uh, and just a reminder, if anyone uh, has any questions for Nicole or Brian, give us a call, 1-800-516-1220. We have a pretty good listenership in Fremont, just by coincidence, the radio station for KDOW, uh, 1220 AM, the Wall Street Business Network, which, which we're broadcasting on, is right there in Fremont. So, uh, hey, guys, uh, tell us a little bit about, um, you know, the Fremont market kind of in general. Uh, it's... it's uh, Niches are different, I'm sure. We're used to talking about, you know, different areas up here, down here in the South Bay. But tell us a little bit about Fremont, maybe the the inventory, how the market's going, and some of the activities. Uh, sure, I'll go ahead and speak to that. So, uh, you know, we have a uh, supply and demand issue, uh, as I, I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> surprise, sure the South surprise. Bay uh, enjoys yeah. uh, the same the same issues. Uh, so we 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 are down to about fifty single-family homes uh, currently wow. on the market, yeah. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, we, we service the whole tri-cities, essentially, Union mm -hmm. City, uh, Newark. Uh, Union City runs about, uh, you know, a little less than half of that inventory. There are about 22, 23 single-family homes available there, mm -hmm. and Newark about 12 or 13. Uh, so, yes, uh, uh, inventory is sparse, to say, <laughs> Uh, and, and it's seasonal to uh, to a point. I mean, obviously, we don't run 50 all year. We've been, you know, 80 to 100, which is still incredibly low. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, we're down to 50. Just that part is just seasonal in terms of you know fewer people sell their homes uh, getting into the winter months uh, coming up. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that, I, I, hopefully that answers that question. <laughs> yeah, it does. Well, yeah, it's, it seems to be the same trend everywhere. Inventory is super low everywhere, and it's a uh, unique and challenging market. And as we dive into our uh, our conversation today, we'll talk more about maybe have some strategies for buyers and sellers. Uh, so the next thing a little bit is, is there any uh, unique nuances or some, any things that are different to Fremont than, again, kind of compared to the South Bay? A lot of... You know, a lot of people, believe it or not, uh, are going the other direction or they're going up the peninsula, and maybe they don't head up that direction a lot. Uh, Fremont's a unique little city. I mean, I've spent a lot of years there just going back and forth to the radio studio and for many different reasons. Any, uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, Fremont in general to give those a little taste of that that aren't, uh, aren't used to spending some time up there. Sure, yeah. So, so Fremont is... Uh you know, has grown a ton. Uh, you know, they were incorporated into Silic the greater Silicon Valley some years ago as a, uh, you know, an add-on, as a, you know, a, it was accompanied into, I guess, maybe the better word. Um, they, it's become a great place for people to uh, maybe pay a little bit less for <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the uh, great house that they're looking for uh, in the lower peninsula and, uh you know the challenges of finding properties in in around uh, the bigger companies like uh, Apple, Google, and such in Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. uh, they people were able to find a, a similar or better home for a little less money in Fremont and realized that commute distance wasn't uh, too much of an issue. And I know uh, traffic uh, ebbs and flows, and so you you know you try and find uh, uh, the best time, the best flexibility I can, I guess, with your schedule. Uh, but Fremont is uh, is really driven by school scores, which uh, again, mm -hmm. similar to some of the areas of the South Bay, where we have a ton of nine and ten great school rated schools, and that, and that's including middle schools and high schools, which is you know mm -hmm. uh, pretty astounding that you can find a, a middle school that, that may have uh, you know thousand five thousand students that are holding a, a nine or ten great score in terms of their uh, academics 
Uh, so it's a very academic-driven uh, market in terms of why people are coming here. They want the great schools in Fremont and mm -hmm. uh, like to live in the community where other other like-minded people who are love to have yeah. uh, good good ap academic education for their kids, <laughs> and uh, that that really seems to be the flow of the city right now. Very good. You know, so I have about a can I, oh, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. We have about a minute just, minute left for oh. our, for our next break. Yeah. Go ahead. Great. So just to add to that, you know, I'm new to Fremont. Um, I, you know, mm -hmm. from Livermore, lived, uh, worked in Pleasanton, um, new to Fremont area. However, from what I understand, and Brian, you know, you can correct me, is that um, I understand that the Fremont area is trying to get out of the, the, the status of the sort of the bedroom community where they yeah. come here, sleep here, and work elsewhere. So I think that that's really key also to our market. Yeah, they are developing a new uh, "quote unquote" downtown Fremont. Uh, you know, we were mm -hmm. originally like five neighborhoods that were kind of merged together, uh, and now they're trying to develop a more of a city center, uh, central location. So yes, uh, we can move into becoming more of a uh, city than uh, you know an, uh, an economic power kind of thing instead of just uh, a bedroom community for sure. Very good. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to continue our conversation with Nicole and uh, and Brian. They're both with Century 21 M&M. &M. If you have any questions out there, maybe you're out there as a buyer, frustrated, a seller, thinking what you're going to do. We're going to dive more into these topics when we come back. If you have any questions, 1-800-516-1220. This is Joe Cachero with Real Estate Radio Live. We'll be back to continue in just a few moments. For more information on today's program, visit reradiolive.com. That's reradiolive.com. The world is changing and so is real estate. It's changing in ways that give consumers more control with more affordable options. So what are your options? Hi, this is Joe Cachero with Real Estate Radio Live. I've been on the air educating and informing consumers for over seven years now. I'm excited to announce that there is now a more efficient and cost-effective way to buy and sell real estate. Our team at Real Estate Radio Live is launching a new program designed to help buyers or sellers like you in real estate, lending and title. That's right. We'll coordinate the entire transaction for you. So you benefit by working with the same team, saving time and saving money. We'll guarantee you'll not only be working with the most qualified, hand-picked experts in real estate, lending and title, but you will also save a significant amount of money in all three services as well. Act now and benefit from changing the world of real estate. Call 408-838-9060. Go to reradiolive.com. That's reradiolive.com. Welcome back to Real Estate Radio Live, streaming live on iHeart, TuneIn, and KDLW.biz. For more information on today's topic or guest, just visit reradiolive.com. That's reradiolive.com. Again, your host for Real Estate Radio Live, Joe Kuchera. Welcome back in. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Joe Kuchera with Real Estate Radio Live. We're with you five days a week, Monday through Friday from 3 to 4. Be sure to tune in. Also, be sure to download the podcast at iTunes, or you can go to our website at reradiolive.com. On the line today, our guests are uh, Nicole Fink. She is the sales manager at Century 21 M&M in the Fremont office, and also Brian Rowland, who's a realtor there, and uh, kind enough to join us, spend some time talking about the Fremont market and, uh, and much more. If you're out there listening online or uh, on the radio or any other on Facebook, if you want to contact us, Two ways you could do that. You could give us a call, 1-800-516-1220, or you could text 408-838-9060. For those listening to this via podcast, the way to reach us would be to go, go to reradiolive.com. Hey, guys, I, I was, we finished up the first segment. We were talking a little about the uniqueness of the city, some of the changes that's going on. What I was going to ask you is... Um, I know over here, down here, there's landlocked. There's really no other place to build, of course, but up downtown San Jose is going to start expanding a lot for the first time. Um, what is that like in the Fremont area? Is there still a little bit of room to go grow or to expand, or is it pretty much landlocked still and uh, existing uh, existing property to, you know, if someone's interested? 
Well, yeah, no, we are pretty much in the same boat in terms of landlocked. Uh, we are having the same kinds of building going on where there are small pockets of uh, acreage to build upon. Uh, they are putting in, you know, three-story townhouses slash single-family homes uh, with very little uh, property uh, in terms of lot size. Uh, mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, we're also finding a lot of buyers who are enjoying that. They're coming in and they're working uh, a lot of hours, uh, you know, to come up with the income to pay for these homes. And they're not always all necessarily interested in in caring for a bunch of property. They want to just come in their house and enjoy it, live in it, and not spend a ton of time uh, cleaning it, working on it, and uh so, yeah, we, we do not, though, have a, a lot of acreage to build upon, and we have, you know, we have some, some school crowding situation that uh, city council is constantly trying to address uh, in that uh, we, need, we need to get some more schools into the area as well, um, hopefully getting the builders to uh, adhere to, to that. Uh, so, yeah, we, I, I think we're similar to what you're experiencing definitely in the South Bay yeah. Uh, in, terms of, in terms of that. Okay. Hey, let's switch gears a little bit. I want to talk about or listen to, uh, tell us a little bit about Century 21 m and m Century 21 is an incredible global brand. It's been around for years. Um, you know, I certainly remember it for years. Everybody does. It's a recognizable name. I know the m and m is a, uh, you know, you guys have a group as well. Um, so tell us, uh, share with the audience a little bit first, a little bit about Century 21, m and the brand, the owners, John and Larry, maybe, their vision, and then, um, you know, the reason why consumers should know a little bit more about you guys, what you're up to, and uh, give them a little insight. Okay, great. Um, you know, Century 21, obviously, we, we have the global foot, footprint. Um, you know, we're in 78 countries as a corporate office. Um, M and M is obviously a franchise. We've been number one the last four years um, in Northern California. We have 32 offices, so we have a lot of resources, a lot of networking. Um, John Mello and Atos, our owners here, uh, started the company in uh, 1994. And again, you know, to reiterate, we're award-winning associates. We have a award-winning staff, and we're the number one Century 21 company in the world for the last four years. So. It, you know, for us, it's, it's a matter of convenience, networking, resources. Um, we are backed by the Century 21, you know, global footprint. Um, mm -hmm. Again, it's a, it's a huge name, um, and we take pride in the fact that our franchise, the M&M and Associates uh, company, has excelled in such a small amount of time. Um, we were able to provide excellent service um, and, you know, continue to see – the growth as far as our company goes, um, you know, we're 32 offices, and the nice thing about us is we have convenient locations. You know, we're, we're, mm -hmm. we're all over the northern Bay Area right. from, you know, northern California, from, you know, serving northern California from the Santa Clara County to Fresno mm -hmm. counties. I mean, you name it. So we have a lot, of, right. a lot of networking that we can do with other managers, other offices, and the idea of the M&M, &M, um, you know, platform and the way that we like to run businesses, we're really – we're a large company, and we're number one because of it. But, however, we really expand our um, client base with knowing that we are a tight community. Um, we all communicate often. Um, all of our managers and all of our offices are always um, communicating with each other along with the owners of the company. Um, as a matter of fact, they're here today. So, um, you know, it's, it's, a really, it's a really family dynamic um, company and they take pride in that, and, and I think that that's, that's a really important quality to have. Um, it is. Uh, tell us a little bit about, from a consumer's perspective, Nicole, and, of course, uh, Brian could jump in. Or, You know, I'm a consumer out there. I'm listening to this show. I'm listening to the podcast. I'm listening online, and there's so much competition out there. There's so much noise. Uh, there's low inventory. You know, there's there's... When a consumer gets ready to choose someone to represent them on listing their home or on a buyer side, you know, what are the things that are unique, you think, or some of the things that, that allow you and the Century 21 brand to stand out? Well, in general, or, um, I mean, in general, again, I mean, Century 21 name speaks for itself. It's, it's, it's a branded mm -hmm. name. Um, we have consumer brand awareness. In 2016, we, again, um, the company took the highest brand awareness, um, which 
as far as technology, um, imp you know, implementation, marketing strategies. Um, also, we have award-winning agents, you know, very seasoned mm -hmm. agents from from 30 years of experience to millennial experience. So we have a gambit right. of you know, options that, that can fit a lot of different needs because of our resources and the um, availability to of such that, that allows us to really tap into what it is the consumer's needs are. And I think that it's important to know what their needs are and really engage in that. It doesn't necessarily need to be a sales pitch. It needs, we mm -hmm. need to understand what it is that you need and how can we, how can we provide those needs. So, you know, any, any real estate company can sit back and, and, and sell their product. Um, but what we do is we're, we want to sell our relationship. Yeah, makes sense. Well said, well said. We have a little less than two minutes for our ne before our next break. What are the plans for uh, Century 20 on M&M uh, in 2018? Is it going to be uh, continued growth, adding branches or adding agents? I know I spent some time with Larry and John. We had a great event a couple of months ago here in Los Gatos, and I know they have some exciting, uh, exciting uh, plans for you guys in the near future. Well, you know, Joe, we always want to expand, right? I mean, that's, 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 <laughs> that's <laughs> that right. is the idea. Um, you know, as far as, uh, you know, the company as a whole, I know that we are um, always looking to expand. You know, there's, there's a lot of things coming up in the, in the next year. I know that I'm really jazzed mm -hmm. for, um, on a, on a smaller level for the Fremont, um, branch, you know, sales manager here. Um, I mean, looking to grow our market share here in Fremont, looking to grow agents. We have a, you know, locally have a really awesome team. We have a lot of fun. Um, we really, you know, anticipate that, you know, getting, getting new agents on to join mm -hmm. our team. The idea is to, you know, join the team so that we can all be successful uh, and, you know, share in each other's success. Um, to the next year to come. I think that that's the most important part for me is bringing pe people on that want to be a part of a team and a strong team. Mm -hmm. I tend to be a strong leader, and I think that that's really important. Very good. All right, we're going to take our next break. When we come back, we're going to continue the conversation uh, with Nicole Fink. She's the sales manager at Century 21 M&M &M in Fremont, and alongside is Brian Rowland. He's a realtor. If you have any questions, 1-800-516-1220. We do have a text question here. When I come back, I will ask that question to my guests. 1-800-516-1220. This is Joe Kachera with Real Estate Radio Live. Stick with us. We'll be back with you in just a couple minutes. For more information on today's program, visit reradiolive.com. That's reradiolive.com. Hi, this is Joe Kuchera of Real Estate Radio Live. Thanks for tuning into our podcast. We are your go-to resource for all aspects of real estate, including buying, selling, refinancing, building, and legal and tax advice, and much more. You can subscribe to Real Estate Radio Live podcast on iTunes and Stitcher to listen to an engaging discussion about anything and everything real estate. So make sure you get our app, RE Radio Live, in the iTunes store to follow the show. Welcome back to Real Estate Radio Live, streaming live on iHeart, TuneIn, and KDLW.biz. For more information on today's topic or guest, just visit reradiolive.com. That's reradiolive.com. Again, your host for Real Estate Radio Live, Joe Kuchera. Welcome back in. Thank you again for joining me this afternoon. Joe Kuchera with Real Estate Radio Live as we roll through the hour. I have my guests on the line are uh, Nicole Fink. She is the sales manager at Century 21 M&M &M in the Fremont uh, office. And also joining her is Brian Rowland, who's a realtor in the same office. We're talking about the Fremont market, a little bit about Century 21 M&M &M and much more. If you have any questions for either one of my guests, 1-800-516-1220. Or you could text 408-838-9060. Before we jump back, you guys, I have a text uh, question from um, Steve in Santa Clara. Steve in Santa Clara kind of wants to have an idea, I guess, of the average, uh, the average home prices in, in Fremont. Do you guys have kind of a ballpark figure of like what the average price is uh, these days? Sure. Yeah, so in terms of how our year has gone, our, our median <coughs> sale price, which is usually the one that 
we like to look at uh, in terms of looking at the average sales price would be mm-hmm. about a million and uh, fifty thousand. Uh, so okay. right now, though, based on our even exceptionally low <laughs> inventory. Uh, for the houses that are currently active for sale, the median price is up to 1.4. Uh, wow. So, you know, that may just tell you that some of the higher end homes uh, mm-hmm. uh, don't worry so much about when they're selling their home. They'll they're leave it on the market a little bit, and uh, uh, you know, they're not always shooting for we're going to have a big bidding war and we're going to uh, raise that price that way. We're going to start high and get as close to that, uh, you know, as possible. So. Right. You know, I, I think, uh, yeah, you're looking at a million plus just again on okay. the median price, uh, uh, your average 3 2 kind of 13, 1400 square foot, uh, you know, good condition. Yep. Uh, that, that's probably that's the, uh, your mark. <laughs> that's the world in which we live in, isn't it? Every once in a while, you still realize it's for, for those of us that have been in this market a long time, I bought my first house in 86 for 118000 oh <laughs> and uh, yeah, I know you guys are probably going. This guy's old, uh, but no, no I. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it is still every once in a while. It's kind. Of, I mean, it's uh, some senses is exciting if you've been in the market, um, you know, and you see the vibrance and you see the business and all that. But in some cases, it's 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 sad for some of these people that are just trying to get started when the average home is again a million plus. Um, that being said, you guys, let's let's talk a little bit about that. What what are some of the thoughts or what would your advice be? I want to talk a little bit on both sides, uh, on the sellers and the buyers. The sellers first. What are some of, some of the advice you you give people out there that are listening and thinking about, gee, you know, I'm thinking about selling my home. I'm not sure if it's the right time. It seems like it is, but then what do I do when I sell my home? Do you have any kind of thoughts uh, on, on those? Uh, this would be specifically directed to the sellers or potential sellers. Sure. Uh, you know, obviously every case is going to be a uh, case by case basis and you're going to see what are the resources uh, that they have uh, in terms of getting the house as uh, clean and move-in ready as possible for the buyers. Uh, you want to make sure, if at all possible, again, not everybody's got money to, to put into it to get it ready mm-hmm. for sale, but in t- if they do, uh, you know, we can show them how the majority of the buyers like to just be able to move in and and have the house ready ready to go in terms of paint flooring mm-hmm. uh, um, uh, you know if you can upgrade your bathrooms and kitchen I mean all those things and you have to kind of make a list and say you know where what's the best uh, what's going to generate the most uh, sales price for you uh, in terms of prioritizing uh, what mm-hmm. you need to do and you know obviously clean and uh, <laughs> Uh, fresh is the number one, uh, you know, and we go up the list in, in terms of uh, importance from there. Uh, and the buyers, you know, I, I think it's a multifaceted situation, but you know, we have to remember they are putting in, and as you well know, a pretty ch- a large chunk of change as a down yeah. payment, and, and they may not necessarily have another twenty or thirty or forty or fifty thousand dollars to come in and and cure uh, issues with the house or, or that kind of thing. Uh, so uh, you usually are best off if you can have the house, uh, you know, freshly uh, prepared for the buyer uh, and to be sure not to overprice the house, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and that's always uh, a very important issue with you, know, you to uh, talk about with your realtor is that, you know, we have to determine what our market value is uh, and that doesn't always mean what what it's going to sell for, but we just want to be careful not to push it too high where we're we're keeping people away because they're anticipating a bidding war on top of it. So right. a lot of buyers are you know talking to their buyer agent and saying, hey, I've got to get involved, uh, get prepared to buy this house, uh, and we know there's going to be multiple offers. So uh, you know they get a little scared off if you start that ticket too high and then you're on the market mm-hmm. a little too long and. All of a sudden, people are wondering what's wrong with your house when there may not be anything wrong with it. So, uh, you know, again, uh, everything is individually uh, a case-by-case situation. There's no right answer for every single situation. You have to be prepared to uh, strategize according to what your resources are uh, and what your condition, location, all of those things 
uh, right. marketability of your home is going to be. So uh, important yeah. question. And, and the reason, the main thing is, you know, get that great communication going with your realtor so that uh, they c- completely understand your your needs and that they completely understand what your resources are and 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 you guys work together as a team. It's never a, a situation mm-hmm. of somebody's dictating the whole thing. You just uh, want to be uh, comfortable with all of the decisions, uh, 100% comfortable. Very good. You know, let's switch gears to the buyers. I did a um, I did a show about two weeks ago, and I was pretty impassioned about my conversation about buyers. And it, it was a show about you know the renters. Those that are renting, I basically the show concept was anybody that's paying about thirty five hundred dollars or more a month for rent, there really could be a chance you could buy. And my ta- my the reason for the show, and I'm going to do more and more, and uh, just to give you a quick idea for those listening, and also you guys too on, as guests. So since I did that show, I I got six new people pre-approved, and the reason why they called and they emailed me is because you know we I talked about how um, in some cases the market, the news could be very depressing for people out there trying to buy or renting because everything they hear is everything's expensive, you can't afford it, and the house is $1.1 million. I mean, I know that a lot of that's true, but my, my, you know, my take and, and the reason for the show and the reason for the education is that, you know, if you really want to buy, yeah, you might not be able to get it in the place you want. Yes, you might not be able to get the single family. You might have to buy a condo first. Yes, you might have to go out of your area a little bit, but... If you really want to get into the market, you know, um, don't let people uh, discourage you. And that was kind of the theme of the show, and it was great. And I think I'll do more because I get the sense that um, there's so much talk about the continued, you know, the appreciation and it's so expensive and how much you need to make. Uh, Talk a little bit about that, if you would, you guys. I mean, I know... You know, the thought is that way, but there's still a lot of people out there that I think if they put the effort into it and got approved and they kept they they were open minded, that you know, they could possibly get into a place somewhere. Sure. I, I there are opportunities out there and there we have houses uh you know, we talked about that million and fifty uh, median mark, but that means there are, <laughs> you know, half the houses are less than that, and sure. we have houses yeah. uh, considerably lower price than that. And like you mentioned, there are certainly condominium opportunities and townhouses. Uh, and it, needless to say, uh, you have to learn to be like you were talking about, a little flexible with the what yes. and where sometimes. And uh, but as a chance to pay off your own house versus somebody else. I mean, right? Isn't that the the crux of mm-hmm. this, you know, pay off house or pay off somebody else's house. So I'm not sure if you can qualify, then you're certainly way ahead of the game in terms of uh, succeeding into your financial planning goals for the future. Uh, so, you know, I, I just think uh, you maybe uh, we talked about the sellers and getting the houses fixed up perfectly and well, maybe you need to be the guy who's not looking for the perfectly fixed up house. Yeah. And maybe you're right. putting a little bit less money down so that you can keep a reserve to go in and, and do some fix up, fix ups on your own instead of butting heads with, uh, you know, 20 other people submitting offers on a property. Mm-hmm. You know, look at something that's been on the market for 17, 18, 19, 20 plus days and, and start thinking about, well, maybe I can get this house for the price it's advertised and I can – um, get in there, fix it up, and and make it make it my own. And and you know, people lose track of that. Uh, home is where the heart is thing a little bit, you know. And you know, oh, look at the, oh, I've got to have yeah. this beautiful house, but you know, um, it ultimately you can be happy, and, and it has to fit some sort of criteria. Yeah. I, I understand in terms of amount of bedrooms and, and for the amount of people that are going to live there, but. Uh, try to be open-minded about it uh, as much as you can and not narrow your focus too much and you're going to be running around uh, running into these multiple offer situations uh, more than not if you if you just are too hyper-focused on one one type of house that you're looking for. Yeah, yeah I'd agree. Brian, and Bri- you know, Brian, Bri- Bri- real quick, that. we oh, got about 30, 30 seconds. Go ahead, real oh, quick. Go for it. Well, just really quick, um, you know, I think it's important that we also remember that you need to find agents that will help you leverage your financial situation mm-hmm. instead of just focusing on um, not being pre-approved. I think we don't educate people enough to understand what their leverage looks like. 
No, that's yeah, well said. Be, I like I like not that. Not be afraid to overpay, you know, because overpaying now is you you're creating wealth for yourself in a year or two from now, yeah. you know, you don't yeah. just get away from that term. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to take our last break. We come back, uh, we're going to finish up. If you have any more questions, 1-800-516-1220. This is Joe Cachero. I'll be back with you to continue in just a couple minutes. For more information on today's program, visit reradiolive.com. That's reradiolive.com. The world is changing, and so is real estate. It's changing in ways that give consumers more control with more affordable options. So what are your options? Hi, this is Joe Cachero with Real Estate Radio Live. I've been on the air educating and informing consumers for over seven years now. I'm excited to announce that there is now a more efficient and cost-effective way to buy and sell real estate. Our team at Real Estate Radio Live is launching a new program designed to help buyers or sellers like you in real estate, lending and title. That's right. We'll coordinate the entire transaction for you. So you benefit by working with the same team, saving time and saving money. We'll guarantee you'll not only be working with the most qualified, hand-picked experts in real estate, lending, and title, but you will also save a significant amount of money in all three services as well. Act now and benefit from changing the world of real estate. Call 408-838-9060. Go to reradiolive.com. That's reradiolive.com. Welcome back to Real Estate Radio Live, streaming live on iHeart, TuneIn, and KDOW.biz. For more information on today's topic or guest, just visit reradiolive.com. That's reradiolive.com. Again, your host for Real Estate Radio Live, Joe Kuchera. Welcome back in. Thank you again for joining us this afternoon. Joe Kuchera with Real Estate Radio Live as we wind down the show, our last segment. If you have any questions uh, for our guests on the line, Nicole Fink, she is the sales manager at Century 21 M&M in Fremont. And Brian Rowland is a realtor alongside her in the same office. Before we, uh, we have just a, we have five or six minutes left in this last segment, you guys. I want to make sure uh, we get your information out. If someone's out there listening to the show or podcast or wherever they are, if they want uh, to reach out to you guys or get in touch with you, more information about how to contact you, what's the best way to do that? Um, you can reach uh, me, Nicole Fink, here at the Fremont office directly at um, 510 494 2135, or you can contact me on my cell phone, 925. 925- Five one zero, excuse me, five one eight eight zero eight four. I get you know the nine two five five one zero stuff gets confusing. Yeah. Um, and uh, my email is n for Nicole Fink F I N K at c two one m m dot com. So if you have any questions in regards to any real estate needs, or you are a real estate professional and you'd have some questions about our company, I am always available and happy to answer any questions that you need. Very good. And for me, uh, email address, uh, B as in Brian, Roland, R-O-W-L-A-N-D, at c21mm.com, and cell phone, 510-688-0343. Feel free to reach out, uh, just questions, uh, just want to sit and talk uh, about future plans. It doesn't have to be right this second. I'd be happy to help. Uh, give you as much input uh, as possible. Very good. Hey, what uh, what do you think 2018 holds for us, you guys? Uh, I know it's a bit of a guess. We don't really know. I do. We do know the things that we do know are these for for me anyway, and for us that you know interest rates are supposed to go up next year, but they've been saying that for a couple of years, so we'll see. <laughs> Yet to be seen. Although I do think um, there's a better chance next year than there has been recently. Um, other than that, uh, the markets are doing well. Again, the inventory is still low. Uh, there's nothing that would indicate that, you know, we would go into kind of a slide. Maybe there's some leveling. Uh, what, are, what are you guys' opinion on 2018 as we look into next year? Do you have any idea if there's any changes or, or much the same, or what are your thoughts? You know, I'll have uh, to maybe, then I'm gonna let oh. the expert answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, over to you. I th- I think, uh, you know, the easy answer is more of the same, you know, and I, I don't see uh, too much variation from that at all. And, of course, uh, 
you know, interest rates will have an impact and will play a factor uh, if they have a significant rise. But uh, we have more people coming than going, right? So <laughs> it's a simple supply and demand uh, is- issue. And, uh, you know, we can't predict, like you said, bigger national worldwide events uh, but uh, in terms of locally, uh, you know, the major companies are, are growing and building, and that means more workers coming and uh, or, or more jobs created. And so we have a mm-hmm. we're going to have a lot a lot of buyers uh, eager, ready, willing, and able to buy, and uh, not necessarily uh, enough houses to put them into. So uh, we shouldn't see a, uh, a change. In fact, we may even continue to see a rise in cost until. Um, until, like you said, interest rates become a little more impactful, uh, or we we have other other issues that we beyond our our control or or crystal ball. Yeah, we have just a couple minutes left. Uh, I think when I was there visiting the office, Nicole, is there isn't there a development or a fairly new development going up around uh, where you got where the office is, if I recall? Yeah, um, down here by the hub, we are, we, the city is um, building, <laughs> they they, <laughs> they tore down the, um, they're tearing down the city buildings there mm-hmm. and putting up kind of the Santana Row, uh, uh, yeah. you know, downtown feel. And I know that Brian and I both had mentioned, um, you know, Fremont from my experience the last year of being here really is trying to get away from that bedroom community style mm-hmm. and, and more of the Bay Area feel or, you know, South Bay, Bay Area feel. You know, Fremont tends to be, you know, sort of in between the, the, the you know, the, the East Bay versus the Bay Area. So it's kind of that, right, that, right. that, that spread child, if you will. And um, we're really looking forward to having some of that downtown flair. You know, they're building some shops and, of course, the, you know, the housing on top. So it's really, really going to have that um, – City feel, you know, walking, dining, um, outdoor seating, a lot of shopping. So it's right here by our office, down here off of Liberty, down by the hub, and um, it, it's it's looking, it's coming up quickly. <laughs> I mean, they, in the last yeah. year, it feels like they've built a little city. In fact, they've built a a parking garage that I feel like is bigger than you know, bigger than uh, than the, the building itself. Um, so you know, there, there's a lot of activity going on, a lot of growth. Um, uh, and I know that the new work's having a lot of growth, and there's just a lot of going on kind of everywhere in in conjunction with the the demand for people being in this area um and I know that yeah. brian you know he he can probably answer a little bit more clearly on that, but downtown here specifically um is is what they're building okay, yeah, we have a little less than one minute, so real quick before I go. You guys represent kind of the Fremont area. Tell us again, remind us of kind of the areas that you guys represent on the real estate side. Well, personally, you know, I, I kind of cover as much of Northern California as possible. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, 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 we definitely uh, specialize in our local market, uh, Fremont, Union City, uh, Newark, and, and Hayward as well. Uh, okay. We need to uh, facilitate uh, all aspects and be on top of those markets uh, so that people can get the uh, advice and support that they need. Very good. Hey, Nicole and Brian, thanks again. Got to go. Thank Have a great Joe. day, and thanks for being on, you guys. Great show. You Thank well. you, Joe. Joe Couture, really Real Estate Radio Live. You're welcome. Welcome. Uh, more information, you can always go to reradiolive.com. Remember, we're Monday through Friday, 3 to 4. Take care. Have a great afternoon. Radio Live. For more information on today's program, visit reradiolive.com. That's reradiolive.com. Tune in. Log in. Download our podcast. Discover more at reradiolive.com. reradiolive.com.